flow, this time, ituturo ko sa inyo on how to multiply decimals up to 2 decimal places by 1 to 2 digit whole numbers. Okay. Pag mag-multiply tayo ng decimals, para lang tayong nag-multiply ng whole numbers. So, example, okay. I have here 2 and 4 tenths multiplied by a whole number 2. So, dito sa aking example, 2 and 4 tenths is a decimal number multiplied by number 2 which is a whole number. So, titingnan muna natin yung ating given numbers. Dito sa taas, meron tayong 1 decimal place. Okay. Then, proceed lang tayo ng multiplication gaya ng pagmumultiply natin sa whole numbers. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. So, yung product natin ay 4, 8. So, pa, saan ba tayo maglalagay ng ating decimal point? So, yung ating product, magbibilang tayo ng 1 decimal place. So, this is 1 and point. Yan malamang po kasimpleng mag-multiply. Okay. Another example, meron tayo dito 76 hundreds multiplied by whole number 4. So, titingnan natin yung ating factors. Dito sa factors natin, bibilangin natin yung number of decimal places. So, here, meron tayong 1, 2. So, we have 2 decimal places. And then, dito, Walang decimal place dahil ito ay whole number. Then, proceed on multiplying just like whole numbers. 4 times 6 is 24. This time, magre-regroup tayo. You carry 2. 4 times 7 is 28 plus 2 is 30. Then, carry 3. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3. Then, we will count the number of decimal places. Dito may 2, dito wala. So, we have 2 decimal places. So, we will count 1, 2, and dyan tayo maglalagay ng ating decimal point. Okay, another example. Oh, as you can see, dito sa ating factors, dito sa taas, may 2 decimal places. Paano natin malalaman na 2 decimal places siya? So, mula sa decimal point, i-count natin. 1, 2. So, meron siyang 2 decimal places. So, yun lamang ang ating tatandaan. Dahil yung number of decimal places sa ating factors, yun din ang number of decimal places sa ating product. Okay, then dito, wala dahil whole numbers ito. So, proceed on multiplying. 6 times 7 is 42. Carry 4. 6 times 5 is 30. Plus 4 is 34. Carry 3. 6 times 6 is 36. Plus 3 is 39. Carry 3. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 3 is 9. So, kung ano yung number of decimal places sa ating factors, yun din ang number of decimal places dito sa ating product. So, since we have 2 decimal places sa factors, meron din tayong 2 decimal places sa ating product. So, we will count 1, 2, and then affix natin yung ating decimal point. Okay. Another example, tingnan natin yung ating factors. So, dito mayroong 2 decimal places. We will count 1, 2, and point. So, we have here 2 decimal places. Dito, we have 2 digit whole numbers. Walang decimal point. Therefore, walang decimal places. So, we will proceed on multiplying. 2 times 4, it's 8. 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 2, it's 4. 
And then, next, 1 times 4 is 4. Dito natin ilagay straight ng kanyang number. 1 times 3, it's 3. 1 times 2, it's 2. And then, we will add the partial product. So, let's add. 8, 6 plus 4 is 10, carry 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Then, 2. So, since we have two decimal places sa ating factors, magbibilang din tayo ng dalawang decimal places sa ating product. So, let's count 1, 2, and point. So, that is our final product. Okay, for our last example, tingnan natin yung ating factors. We have 20 and 6 tenths. Multiplied by 18, which is a whole number. So, sa factors pa lang, titignan na natin ilan yung number of decimal place. So, from the decimal point, we will count 1. So, therefore, we have 1 decimal place. And dito, it is a whole number. So, we will proceed on multiplying. 8 times 6 is 40. 8, carry, or mag-regroup tayo. So, then, 8 times 0 is 0 plus 4. 8 times 2 is 16. Then, 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. Then, we will add the partial product. So, 8, 4 plus 6 is 10, carry 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, 1 plus 2 is 3. Since sa ating factors, meron lamang tayong isang decimal place. So, sa product din natin, we will count 1 decimal place. So, 1, then point. So, we have now our product is... 370 and 8 tenths. Yan lamang po, kasimpleng mag-multiply ng decimals up to 2 decimal places by 1 to 2 digit whole numbers.